Hi guys, it's me Something Skies, and today I'm here with this video. It is currently Inktober when I'm filming this. Whether or not this video will be up before Inktober is over, I don't know. So basically, since it's Inktober, I've had to ink things, and also because I'm a little cheater, I like did all of them on the first day of October. Yeah. But while being the little cheater that I am, I realized something that I think has just been very beneficial to me. And even though it's like been a few days since I've realized this, there's just been a dramatic, like a an just extremely dramatic change in my line art. And if you're on my Instagram, you may or may not have noticed, but whether you have noticed or not, it doesn't really matter because I noticed and it's my art and that's all that really matters unless I'm trying to do commissions, then it does matter because then y'all gonna want to buy my art if it's good. But we're getting off topic, you see. Today, I shall be sharing you my revelation of what I think is just one of the most amazing things that has ever struck my mind. Well, you know, besides this. But in all seriousness, what came to me was something quite, quite interesting. So, I basically thought to myself as I was drawing my first Inktober picture thing and I was inking it and it was going pretty badly. And I was just like, how come I can draw with a pencil decently, but when it comes to inking, my hand decides to just not. But then I realized it was cause I basically just wasn't trusting myself with the little pen in my hand. You know the whole thought of like permanent thingies and how humans don't like that? Pens. When you are putting the pen on your paper, unless it's one of those erasable pens from Target, it's permanent and if you screw up, you screw up. But the thing was, as soon as I just started trusting myself more with the little pen, everything became a lot more fluid. And I'm not going to lie, there are a few like little rough bumpy things, well not rough bumpy things, sometimes I would go out of the pre-drawn lines and you know, that's okay. If you do that, you can kind of just do that thing where they make thicker lines, you know, to but just cover it up. It looks artistic. I do it really just because I messed up and it covers it. If people think it looks good, I'm doing my job. And if I think I look, it looks good, I'm really doing my job. So. It's a win-win situation. Basically, the moral of this and how to become better at line art, or at least how I became a little better at line art, is to trust yourself with that pen. Nothing good will come out of hesitation. It'll just be all streaky and have little roughy bumpies. Like the thing I'm drawing right now currently, you can see that there are some times where there are like little things sticking out and it doesn't look quite right. That's because I didn't trust myself and it doesn't look that good. You need to trust yourself with the pen and hopefully it'll look better. If it doesn't work for you, feel free to go get mad at me in the comments. It's all good. I'll still leave a heart on it. I leave hearts on all the comments because I read them and it's great. So if you didn't find this video helpful, leave a dislike so I know. And maybe one day I can do a better one. But until then, I am still something skies and hopefully that won't change. So yeah, hope you found this video at least semi helpful and just remember to trust in yourself. Goodbye.